whatever you do, don't look at her. She's not human. Today's story is about one of deception. Don't always trust what you see. And remember, you might not be what you seem. About a year or so ago, my family took a vacation abroad. We stayed in this fancy, rich-looking hotel, and we booked it into the hotel, got our key, and moved into our fifth floor room. We unpacked and made the room look cozy. Every night, I'd go down to the lobby after dinner and read a book or watch a movie with my headphones and have a little chats with the receptionist. I brought my bag down with my phone and wallet in it. My mom had just texted me, asking why I was going back up to the room. I looked up to the clock and realized it was nearly 11 p.m., so I went back to my room via the elevator and stayed up for a bit. After a half an hour or so, I realized I had left my purse in the lobby. My dad and I kept trying to call the receptionist via our hotel phone to see if he had seen it or if it was still there. No answer. About 10 minutes of trying, I finally gave up and decided to head back down. As I got into the elevator, I saw the shy looking girl my age, about 16-ish. I decided to make casual conversation while stepping into the elevator. So, what floor are you on? No reply. She was just staring at the wall, ignoring me. But goes a hit the first floor button. Oh, cool. Still no response. Uh, hello? Just so you're aware, I didn't say this in a mean tone, but kind of non-threatening, possibly friendly tone. Still no reply. I think maybe I'd somehow offended her, or shit. It hit me. She was probably deaf or unable to speak or had special needs or something. All of a sudden, the elevator, instead of going down, goes up to the 10th floor. That's odd. I look over at the girl, now looking down, quite nervous. I quickly apologize for whatever I've done. Maybe I was offending her by repeatedly speaking to her? I don't know. We arrive on the 10th floor. As the doors open, no one was there. I assumed she hit the first floor button again, but she didn't. She stepped out. Confused, I called to her. Where are you going? Aren't you going to the first floor? As soon as I said that, she bolted. I shrugged it off, but I was a little bit concerned. I hit the ground floor button and the doors closed. Hey Tom, I rang from my room but I presumed you were on another call or something. I left my bag here about an hour ago, I said. Okay, I'll check. He quickly went around the back and collected my bag. Here you go. But I wasn't on a call. In fact, we haven't had any calls since nine, he said. Weird, I'll check that out. I turned around to the elevator, but I stopped. Hey, are there any people in this hotel who are blind or deaf or have special needs? He paused for a second. I don't think so, but even if I did, I couldn't disclose any information. That's kind of an odd thing to ask. He shrivels up his face. I told him the story about the girl in the elevator, how I thought I might have offended her. Her running off, her not looking at me once. Huh. Once again, I can't disclose any of that information, but as far as I'm aware, nobody here has any special needs. I thanked him and went back to the elevator towards my room. The next day, me and my family were going out for the day, and we saw some tourist sites. Tom gestures for me to come over to the receptionist desk. He looks down worried. Oh no, I thought. A girl went missing last night. The girl from the elevator. I froze. Did that make me a suspect? I mean, I'd be happy to go to the police and say my story, but I was confused. She was seen to be pressing loads of button on the elevator on the CCTV. Wait a second, I thought. I'd heard of the elevator game before, but I didn't know much about it. I asked to see the CCTV of that night, and sure enough, there she was, looking nervous, pressing random buttons, then me entering on floor 5, then her leaving on floor 10. That night, I googled the elevator game, and I started to skim the rules. They stated, when you reach the 5th floor, a young woman may enter the elevator. Do not look at her, or speak to her. She is not what she seems. Whatever you do, you do doing? not look at her. Look at her. She's, She's not, not human. Human. I was a part of the game. Her game. Now I was trapped. Being some villain of a story. Was it true? Am I not what I seem?